what's up amigos thanks for coming back once again and if you're new to the channel and this is your first video feel free to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can get more videos coming up but i usually don't do that at the beginning of a video it doesn't matter but if you do subscribe also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of every video that comes up but anyway let's cut to the chase guys i don't know when this video is going to come out because i kind of don't know well check it out i've got the electric glide all packed up i got a bunch of camping gear in here i've got my cooking gear in here in case i end up in the woods and i have all kinds of other stuff that uh well you know i don't remember what all i packed but uh the missus wouldn't let me carry a pistol but hey i got a mag light that i'm gonna wear on my waist so i can see in the dark um and why did i say that well because i'm just gonna simply uh, do something i've never done before at least not since 2006 i'm gonna go and play homeless guy on a motorcycle and i don't know where i'm going well except that's not true. I, I do have an idea of where I'm going, I, one place in particular, but I don't know what's going to happen in all points in between. Um, but I'm just going to play the whole thing by ear. It's going to be one great big adventure. It's not even planned out how it's going to go. So far, when I was going to leave, how that was planned didn't work out because we had some really bad weather come through this morning. I was going to leave this morning, but I'm not going to leave till tomorrow. So I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, <laughs> I thought maybe I'd bring you guys along too. So, uh, without any further ado, um... Okay, amigos, I'm about 84 miles into the trip. Oh, by the way, buenos dias. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm about 84 miles into the trip. I stopped to get gas. I have a a, uh, a rule of, as far as getting gas. I stop every 100 miles, stretch, get gas, or get gas and stretch. You know, you get the idea. But uh, I stopped here because I don't really remember past here if there's any gas stations within a 50 mile radius which i'm pretty sure i would have found one but just to be safe i went ahead and stopped here i'm on interstate 65 just north of mobile and i'm headed northeast if that's right so i'm gonna see how many miles i can catch in a day's time i left about 5 15 this morning and it is right now it's about seven o'clock well anyway i guess i better stop talking and crunch some more miles and uh we'll see where we end up next somewhere between Montgomery and Atlanta still not sure how far I'm going to go today but I do want to get a big chunk knocked out before I take it easy the rest of the trip it's taking about a week to do this and I'm probably not going to get any b-roll on the way to Atlanta or during Atlanta I'm going to need both hands
okay I couldn't resist doing a little bit of filming down the road but as you can see I did not film going through Atlanta that was a mess every time I go through that town you got to keep your head on a swivel no matter if you're on the freeway or going through the center of town it's just a mess but here I am I'm on the other side of Atlanta in a town called Canton Georgia and uh, I can see the freaking mountains from back here I don't know if you guys can see that but it is so freaking cool I mean I came over a hill and I see the I don't know if you call them the Smokies or not or the Blue Ridge I don't know but <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it certainly took my mind off of me being a little uncomfortable because I was too busy going, whoa. <laughs> but anyway, I've been on the road for about eight hours and I'm about ready to retire it for the day. It's, it's only two o'clock, two, two o'clock something. It's more like three something here. But it strikes me that I just remembered there's a somebody I know who lives about maybe about 60 miles north of here. Maybe I can crash his house or something instead of trying to find a campground because I really want to avoid the hotels as much as possible because they're just expensive and uh, there, there's no fun in those but anyway I'm gonna get on the road some more see if I can find this guy see if he's even home I don't know I never been to his house but I know what town he's in and I'm gonna send him a message and we'll see what happens Hey, this is the guy I was talking about. This is Andy. You guys know Andy from the, what, the Tampa video the and also and, and the camp uh, out. It just so happens that Andy lives here in Blue Ridge, Georgia. And uh, I texted him. He said, meet me at that furniture store, which I didn't film, and, and, and follow me to my house. I was like, okay, cool. So I guess tomorrow we're going to like probably be on the roads a little bit. He's my tour guide for, oh, the, yeah, for this yeah. area up here. I got a big day planned for you. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But uh, uh, Andy wants to show me around. He's going to give me the grand tour of his family's property because between he and his brother and the rest and his aunt and the rest of his other family members, they got like what, 190 acres? 109. Uh, okay. 109. I thought I had a little bit of nice piece of property, but this guy's got his own little nation here. Anybody that lives near me has got the same last name. <laughs> what are we going to go see? We're going to see a bunch of pasture and uh, some woods and maybe a shed where they made moonshine. <laughs> hmm. You think they got any left? I do. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here? Oh, right here is the uh, second original home. In 1952, they put in electricity. So the moonshine making was way off down the hill there, which I'll show you. All right. And they had power run from here down to the moonshine shed. And if she cut the power off three times, they dumped the tanks. <laughs> that means the revenues was here. Uh-oh. For real. I'll show you the building that's way up on the bank. And other, when you say revenues, you're talking about they fixing to get busted, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The moonshine sheds way up on the bank and the spring is down below it and they pumped the cold water up and made the moonshine but they had it where they could dump the tanks just bam huh. just the power i had a breaker box here at this house so they were prepared for the man to show up well they had done time in federal prisons before <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do with this field over here we bail hay out of it for the 12 or 14 cows we got do you actually uh, you make burgers out of them, steaks and stuff like that? Yeah, about two a year. Yes, two a year? Yeah. See, a two a year will last you about a year's time, huh? Yeah, about. You're not told you they had the power run down here? Yeah, the what? Well, they had the electricity ran right down here? Yeah. Okay, I'll show you where that went through. Look at that. So that's where that's where it was all done, huh? So from the second house, uh -huh. they had the power. They really got big when they built the second house. The power went from there to here, and if the lights went off three times, okay. The reason they built it up here, the spring is down here. They pumped the water up here into a big tank. This has been somewhat modernized in the 70s. Okay. Just kind of camp out down here a little bit. 
And the reason it's way up above the spring, so they could dump all, the, they dump every tank down the hill. These, there was pipes buried underground. So in other words, that's how they, that's how they got rid of the evidence. Of the, yes. If the law showed up, okay. Yeah, that's where all the shine was made. Well. <laughs> you were expecting that, was you? No, I wasn't. I mean, it's all, <laughs> I bet he comes from a, a long line of regular outlaws. <laughs> Well, I know I like the guy. Hey, buenos dias, amigos. It, uh, this is a couple days later since the, the moonshine thing. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, I'm at this campground called, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, kickstand, yeah. Yeah, the Kickstand Lodge Campground. That's what it is. Tacoa. In, in the Tacoa Valley, North Carolina. And there's a lot of bikes that just frequent this place. It, actually, this place is world famous. And, uh, and I don't think I'll ever get to use my tent because since I've been on the road, I stayed at Andy's house, which Andy and Charles followed me up here. I had a roof over my head and a bed, and then there's this over here. Actually, I didn't stay. No, you... Yeah, I didn't stay in that right there because I slept on a park bench. <laughs> yeah, because Andy likes to chop down trees in his sleep, so I didn't stay with these guys. But anyway, these guys are leaving out, and they're going to leave me here all by my lonesome, and I don't know who I might run into. Um, it's a, quite an adventure, though, but. Definitely got a long leg to go. You guys having a good time? Hey, awesome, hey, man. Best. Thanks for coming out. Hey, man. It was awesome. Let's see what it's going to be like when I'm all by myself. <laughs> so far, it felt like I never left home. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, amigos, now that they're gone, um, I didn't want to do this in front of them, but, you know, like eat in front of them, but this is my little kitchen right here. I got my stove going right here. It's boiling water in here. In fact, it ought to be to a boil. Oh yeah, it's getting there. This right here I bought from Academy. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm just telling you what I've got. But these are not exactly cheap. They're probably like 10 bucks a piece, but I got about five of them. You just open this up, dump hot boiling water in here, and then seal it back up for so many minutes, and then open it back up, stir it up, and then seal it back up again, let it soak. The directions say to put a certain amount of water in it, but I've used these before. I always put more than that because they tend to cook a lot better that way. But if you happen to buy one of these, the directions are on the back, okay? But you can get these at Academy at Sports and Outdoor or whatever you call it, or you can get them online or Walmart, who knows? So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and get to paying attention to my boiling hot water. Okay, let's see how well I can cook and film at the same time. Take my boiling hot water, dump it in here like this, I'm just going to fill it up until it gets to be like a little bit more than a cup and a half because that's what it says to do. Stir it up like that. The excess water will get, you know, soaked up by the biscuit material. All right, it's all stirred up. And I'm going to seal this. 
you get the idea. And then wait five minutes, like the directions say. Okay, it's all sealed up. It's a little bit of a booger to get it to seal. It's like a Ziploc, but mainly because it got some crumbs in, in the grooves and stuff. But I'm gonna see what time it is. You know, you guys get the idea. Let's throw it up after five minutes and then seal it off for another four minutes. And after that, should be good to go. Now this looks delicious. Check it out. I wonder what it's like. Not bad. Definitely not homemade, but pretty good. So, uh, I'm going to get to eat my breakfast and I don't know what's next. <laughs> but it sure is nice out here. Okay, it's been a couple of hours and I'm just sitting here by my lonesome because Georgia Hillbilly, you know, Andy and, and Charles split. And I'm thinking, now what am I going to do with myself? And look who just showed up. Hello, people. <laughs> the, the infamous, or well, famous, or whatever, Anonymous Biker USA. And ironically, hey, look what shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what you doing up here? Uh, I got lost. You got lost. And what state do you live in? Uh, to be determined. To be determined. But he's not in the state he lives in, so I guess he took a wrong turn at Albuquerque and it ended up over here. You could say. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, let's see what happens next. Hey, you guys just saw Anonymous without his mask on, but too bad you only saw the back of his head. Yeah, anyway, hey, that was a pretty short ride over here, wasn't it? <laughs> well, then again, it might just be the lack of footage I got. But we see this place, it looks like a place where the locals go, but then I'm fooled because a bunch of motorcycles pulled in there. I don't know, we'll see what happens. It says they got like uh, fried beaver and moccasins and buffalo and uh, what else? B-roll. Anyway, actually, this does not look like a bad place. I mean, not a bad place for a uh, temporary uh, homeless guy to sit down and eat. Actually, I'm not homeless. I'm just getting out and about. But anyway, so Anonymous, what, what do you think about the place? <laughs> I'm not pointing up a camera. It's lovely anymore. atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, he didn't have his uh, mask on, so, or his, whatever you call it. So, he was trying to decide real hard what to eat. I can only get him from the, from the chest down. He's kind of like blockhead, you know, he don't want to be seen. So, anyway, maybe I'll put this camera there, I'll start ordering something. Okay, that was better than good. Uh, I got a question though. Whoever came up with the idea that a baked potato is supposed to go with a steak? I mean, why not like macaroni and cheese or something like that, you know? But the ribeye was phenomenal. So, I don't know what we're going to do next. I don't really know how this trip is going. I don't know what this video is going to be like. But until then, what did you have? Anonymous is so nice. He decided to uh, buy my dinner for me. Uh, feed the homeless, right? <laughs> he didn't even say that. Oh well. Okay, I, for the heck of it, gonna show the Anonymi this really cool river. You know, because we're just kind of bored and we don't have anything else better to film because, you know, once we get our stuff to uh, the editing table, we're going to make it look a lot more glorious than what it really was, you know? So you guys will get to see what I'm talking about if I ever use this footage.
see what I mean? Pretty cool. Okay, well, like everything, all good things must come to an end. But anyway, my good buddy, the Anonymous, well, Anonymous Biker USA. Tell him my real name is. He actually has a parking spot here in North Carolina at this building. It looks like a like a library. Anyway, his real name is. It's true. Elliot. Call for Elliot. It's reserved parking for El for Collie Elliot. Oh, that's it. Yeah. See, I forget his name sometimes. But. Uh, I really sincerely thank you so much for coming up and saying hello. Always good to see the tramp, yeah. whether it's Louisiana, Mississippi, or North Carolina. Always good to ride with them. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, anyway, it was a good couple of hours, so from here on out, I'm going to be on my lonesome uh, on my way home used for, for about a week. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know this guy yet, his link is going to be in the description below okay so uh he's on his way out and i'm on my way back to the campground to do whatever i don't know i plan on headed south tomorrow and um who knows where we're gonna be Hasta luego, muchachos! and buenos dias guys it is yet another day and uh I think after I get done eating my, not eating, drinking my coffee, I'm going to mosey on down or just meander on down to maybe South Carolina. I have some uh, family there I haven't seen in years. And uh, you don't always get to have the same people in your life forever. It would be good to see them again. And, uh, you know, you never know what the tomorrow brings. So this is an opportunity to take advantage of that. So I'm just going to, you know, meander on down to South Carolina today and uh, see a part of a country I haven't seen before. I mean, not that I've never been to the South Carolina before, but it's been years. So even if you've been to the same state, there's always some things that you haven't seen that's unique to that state. But anyway, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee, finish packing up the bike to get out of here. And who knows what what the road brings. <laughs> I'm seeing two birds playing hopscotch up ahead. The simple things you see that you miss it because of the daily grind has always got you busy, you know? <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens.
well that was a nice ride up until I turned the camera off because I went through some serious serious twisties through the mountains and I believe I'm out of them I had to cross the mountains I made it into Georgia and then out of Georgia I'm now in South Carolina at a gas station here at Oconee I'm gonna head on into well, I'm going to get on another highway further south than here, head east and go and see uh, my aunt and uncle. And I'm not going to film it because there's just some things that are better left sacred. Plus, they don't really want to be on YouTube. So uh, I'm going to get down there and uh, I'll catch you guys a little later. Okay. <laughs> hey amigos look who i found hey, look it's after i had visited with my aunt and uncle you know and it's the next day i'm over here just outside of Carrollton, georgia and this guy i just run into him down the road you guys know this checking guy? out my chopper <laughs> that's pretty chopper. cool your new topper? Yeah, yeah, man, it gets excellent gas mileage. You have to consider the hamburger mileage. How far can you go on one hamburger? You see what I'm saying? Not really, but well, I'll you got to consider the other fuel. Oh, okay, okay. So I, it's an alternate fuel. It's an alternate fuel vehicle. It runs on hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I got you. So in other words, if you hadn't eaten in a while, you ain't riding that thing. Right? Well, I mean, eventually you're gonna run out of gas, oh, ain't you? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. and this is Terry over here. What's up? This is Terry's place, and uh, as I've been playing this whole trip by ear, and nothing has worked out like I thought it was going to. It's just going to happen like it's going. And so Terry says I can sleep on his carport too, because there's yeah. Scotty's tent right there. <laughs> so me and Scotty's going to be roommates. Well, actually, no, we're not. We're going to be neighbors. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, amigos, check it out. We got the. I don't know what you want to call this the tramp mahal or whatever anyway bikes right here tents all set up you know my little hotel and uh hey check this out here's a scooter trip scotty video behind the scenes in the making check it out <laughs> <laughs> anyway behind the scenes in the making huh? yeah 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 but anyway <laughs> i just thought i'd just show that to you so Uh, they're talking about getting together and going for a ride for their own little bike night or a bike night and hey how about we go with them right Scotty's back there getting ready to go so uh, they're warming their stuff up even though they don't need to they're fuel injected but maybe it might be a good idea for me to warm my stuff up so uh, hold on a second Okay, I guess it's not really a bike night. It's just their bike night. So, this looks like a nice place to be because this food is awesome, I guess, because it smells good. You eaten here before? I have eaten here before and it's pretty darn good. Okay, let's go check it out. Uh, I guess this is the company we came to meet. You know all these guys? Um, yeah. You met them just now? Okay, see, I don't know a single soul here. I've only known this guy for about how many hours ago did I show up at your house? Two or three. Yeah, I've only known this guy for like three hours. Oh, I'm gonna have a Coke. Look who decided to show up. <laughs> you made the party. Yeah, they all had their motors running, ready to go, and I'm like, I got another 10 minutes, you guys. Yeah. Oh, well. You can't push everybody, right? A lot of times they haul ass to groups like that. And I just want to put on into town. You know? Yeah, I don't blame him. I'm kind of the same way. But they were pretty well behaved this time around. Even my slow little Evo was able to keep up with them with that, with that big old bagger. I oh, well. I wasn't ready to go yet. I was like, that's kind of clean out my cake. I wasn't done. I didn't have my bike ready. Yeah. I don't it is care. what it is. Yeah, that's fine. Not bad. All right, 
camp is all packed up. I think I'm gonna head towards the house. You know, it's kind of late in the day. It's a little after 10 o'clock, so I'm not gonna make it all the way there today, but uh, I don't know what else is gonna happen, but I must give Terry some thanks for uh, letting me stay here. And, uh, good seeing Scotty again. How you doing, buddy? Not, I get it. All right, brother. Always good to see you again, buddy. But anyway. I have to admit, I had a little bit of a sense of anxiety before setting out on this trip, mostly because I didn't know what to expect. But after the first couple of hundred miles, it all started to feel natural, and it felt like the correct thing to do. All the finer details that I had planned out did not work out one bit, but however, that just left an open door for adventure to happen. And why would I do that? Why did I do that? Well, all I can say is, I had to be reminded that there's a bigger world than just my own. The popular culture would have you think if you step outside your door for any distance at any time there's a two-headed monster out there ready to devour you up at any second, but I have found that to be the exact opposite. It meant nothing but hospitality everywhere I went, and I actually felt at home out there on the road. Meeting new faces, making new friends, catching up with old friends too along the way when you didn't expect to see them. There's just something about that kind of thing that can't be put into words. You just have to go and do it and experience it. But if this were a reality to be had all the time, constantly, I could only imagine the adventures that would come from it. Nevertheless, to step outside your comfort zone every once in a while and discover something bigger than you, stepping in and out of other people's realities, experiencing other people's worlds, and knowing that your world is not as big as you think it is. But one thing that I have discovered doing this, having less is more. And in conclusion, as always, I will leave you with this. You guys get the rubber side down, and you be good to yourselves. And thanks a lot, amigos.